Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining this session. So I'm going to be talking about career building through open source and community participation. Um, I'm going to start with my introduction. So I'm Omotala Yuniz Omotayo. You can just call me Omotala. I use she her pronouns and I'm from Nigeria, Africa. So that means I flew, I spent 16 hours to get to this place. So you can appreciate me for that. <laughs> I'm also a community builder. Um, I'm a women in tech and DEA advocate. I'm one of the organizers of the outreach program. So I'm going to be using outreach for my case study uh, for this session. Um, outreach is a paid remote internship opportunity. I will be telling you uh, more about it during my session. And I also lead uh, the community manager team at SheCod Africa. Um, SheCode Africa is a non-profit as well that focuses on uh, empowering and celebrating women in tech across Africa. Okay, so before we go on, um, I want to ask the audience questions, um, and I think I should just ask one. And the question is, how many of us in this room have contributed to open source projects before? Oh, a lot. Nice, thank you. So how many of us, um, because you've been contributing to open source, I believe you belong to one or two open source communities, right? Okay, are you actively engaging or would you say you've benefited from um, participating in these open source communities? If it's yes, okay, all right, thank you. So um, unlike what many persons might think, um, but uh, contributing to open source goes beyond um, improving or building open source projects. It goes beyond that. It's, it's a way for you to like improve your career in tech generally. Um, and you don't have to be a programmer to contribute to open source. You don't have to be a Python developer to contribute to open source. You can be a technical writer, community manager, or whatsoever field you are coming from, and you can contribute and improve the open source projects. Okay, so these are opportunities uh, that are participating in communities, open source communities, because that's what this top, uh, session is about, can give to you. The first thing is networking. You being part of this um, EuroPython conference enables you to network with other persons, persons like Omotala coming from Africa, uh, persons coming from other countries, persons from different fields that on the norms you might have not um, think of you're going to meet them. So networking, which is an investment in your career, if I have the old time, I can give you um, examples of how networking has helped me to start from nothing and to get to where I am today. Collaboration, building projects or bringing that old idea that you have in your head to real life, um, it's easier when you have someone or a lot of other persons on your team working with you. It's faster and you, it makes you to like see things in different way and to build a more usable and uh, a project or a solution that is uh, more uh, stronger, let me put it that way. Um, Self-confidence, um, I'm going to be sharing some stories um, later of people who um, during the, uh, during the journey of their career, they feel uh, timid, like they are not sure if they want to talk about what they know, they are not sure to talk about what they are building or what they can do. And this, in a way, will make you feel, uh, let's say you are starting from a one, and you know a lot of things, but because you don't have that self-confidence to like talk to the next person about what you are doing or what you know, you stand at a one for a longer period of time compared to someone that can talk about, oh, I'm a motela, I'm a community manager. This is what and this is what I can do. So um, belonging or participating to an open source community boosts your confidence because you tend to relate with um, a lot of other persons. Um, land your dream job. Before I move to that, uh, let me talk about building your portfolio. Contributing to open source, um, you're going to be able to contribute to projects that are bigger than where you are, I mean your career level. Imagine you're contributing to, um, say, a Google project, I'm just using that as an example. You can boldly say, oh, I build that project. 
you don't need to build the project from A to Z yourself, but because you are part of the persons that contributed to the success of that project, you can claim that in your portfolio and say, yes, I actually built this project. So that way you are building your experience level. And um, just like the last speaker said, when, you want, when your recruiter asks you, what can you do or what have you done before, you'll be proud to say, oh, I've done this, I've built this. So um, contributing to open source or participating in open source community actually help you to build your portfolio. Uh, then land your dream job. Um, be, um, we'll be talking about internship later, and this is just a way for you to like have more experience to um, build you and prepare you for that next opportunity. Become an advocate. You can become someone like Omotola that flew all the way from Nigeria to another country just to tell other people about how they can build their project and about the um, about the paid internship opportunity. I'll be able to. I'll be talking about soon. So you can become an advocate, not just as a volunteer, but a paid advocate. Talking about this or what I do generally in several ways with several organisation is actually paid. So that can be your career path, being an advocate and getting paid for, uh, by doing that. Now, let me move to the story time. Um, for this story, I'm going to be talking about um, outreach interns. Uh, remember I mentioned that uh, this session is going to be, I'll be using outreach as my case study. So I'm going to be using outreach interns as a story to tell you more or to let you see uh, some aspects where contributing to open source community has actually helped people to build their um, career. So when I'm going through these stories, I need you to be asking yourself questions because I'm going to be asking you questions as well. So this is um, Asuchi Past Intern, who used to be like a stay-at-home mom for over 15 years. And after contributing and participating in the Asuchi program, um, she landed a full-time job with Linus as a developer. So I have um, some other stories piled up together here. Another Asrichi intern that um, participated uh, with the Mozilla community, and after which they gained self-confidence. I, I talked about self-confidence the other time, which has been a, an important uh, part of their career, and it's had also help them to secure a full-time job with Intel. Um, we have Paul. Paul is a designer as well. Paul uh, mentioned that he started um, his open source background with Asrichi and was able to um, get inter um, interview opportunity with um, this company. At the end of the day, they didn't get the job, but that actually boosted their confidence as well to be able to prepare for the next opportunity they got. I met them during the last um, RTG 1000 intern celebration in Nigeria, and they mentioned that after two months of participating in this RTG internship program, they got their full-time job, which is awesome. So these are other stories, um, stories of how um, someone was um, bullied they could not, not bully physically, but you know where you can talk about what you can do. You feel timid and you are like, oh, I don't think I want to do this. Oh, I think I'll just keep it. I think I'll keep this to myself. I'll continue working indoor. I don't need to talk about it. But contributing to, um, through the outreach internship, um, through open source communities, help them to be able to like, start from nowhere or start from somewhere and even improve their level. Um, I'm going to be talking about the astrology stages later, but uh, you will reference this story later. So the second stage of the astrology um, internship program requires you to contribute, pick a project you want to contribute to by yourself, requires you to contribute to the project for some weeks, and this person did not get to the, in, um, the internship stage, but because of the experience they got from the initial application stage and from the contribution stage, they were able to write, write a book on Python 2 and 3, and they start selling this book and make, making money out of it. These are other stories, uh, success stories from um, Asuchi past interns and applicants, not just interns now, about how participating in community has actually helped them to build their career. Now is your turn. I've been talking about a lot of success stories. I've been talking about ways you can um, build your career through open source. I don't know if anybody asked 
this question, like, so you've been talking about this, how do I build my career? I know there is a lot of technical sections that you've been listening to from the day one of this conference. Uh, so if you're asking this question or you want to know more about how you can use um, communities, community, open source community participation to build your career, let me see and a lot, okay. So I'm going to be talking about paid open source programs. So paid open source program, um, we have a lot. I'm going to be talking about Outreach. So Outreach is a three month remote paid internship opportunity that allows you to contribute to open source and open source open science projects. It's completely remote. You don't have to go to the office. You can be a student, just that you have to be free from school. Then you get uh, 7,000 um, USD stipends as an intern, then it's open to everyone. All you need to prove is that you are underrepresented in the country you are living in. Um, you work, I've mentioned this. So I mentioned um, earlier that we have three stages. We have the initial application stage, we have the contribution stage, and the internship stage itself. So the initial application stage is where you write a convincing essay, it's just like you answering questions about how you are underrepresented in the country you are living in. So you can think of it, it might be because you don't have a technical background, you don't have a, uh, maybe an undergraduate certificate in tech. It can be because you don't have years of experience because actually doesn't need you to have five years, two years, or to write a full CV, we don't even need your CV. So which is a very good way for you to start. Um, so when you write this essay and you pass this first stage, you move to the second stage, which, you, which is where you will show up, you will learn, and you will contribute. So you intentionally pick any project you want to work on. The project has um, several skills level, so you can pick the one you are comfortable with. Let's say for Python, you are very good with Python, you can start on um, level three. You can, if you don't have any um, experience, maybe writing technical, um, documentation, and that is what you, the project you want to work on, you can start from level one. So you are comfortable to pick any project you, are, you want to uh, work on. So you do your research, you dedicate your time, you engage with your mentors. The open source community is very inclusive and welcoming, yes? So you have mentors who are willing to dedicate their time to show you this is how you, are, you can do it. Then you ask questions if you need to, then someone, a lot of, you help other people to solve their um, question, then you submit your final application. So when you get to the internship stage itself, this is just where you are going to double your efforts. Like everything you've been doing for the past two weeks, contributing to that project, this is where you are going to get paid, get the 7,000 USD, and also continue improving yourself, your career, putting yourself out there for bigger opportunities, and also connecting with more persons in the open source community. So this internship runs twice a year. We have the um, May to August round, and we have the December to February round. Um, December to March round. So for the next round, uh, it's starting next month, so you can take that chance to visit astrochi.org, um, learn more about the application um, requirements, because you need to be eligible. Learn more about that and give it a shot. Um, I've been talking about internship, internship, internship. There is also a very important way for you as someone who is experienced in open source contribution to give back to the community. Giving back to the community can actually help you to build yourself as well. So you'll be able to say, um, you can add that to your portfolio that I've been able to impact how many number of persons' lives, or uh, change people's stories, maybe their career story, and so on and so forth. So outreach is, um, looking forward and calling on open source community. So let's say you belong to a community or you have a project. You have projects, open source projects or open science projects. You want people to um, come collaborate with you on. So Attitude welcomes you to like submit your project or come in as a mentor. If you know, oh, you have enough skills and you don't think, you, you, you don't want to come in as an intern. So you want to come in as a mentor or a mentoring community. So we are really advocating for open source community and open science communities to come and join us uh, to support diversity in tech by being a mentor. You can as well visit um, the Attitude website, attitude.org.org and um, apply to be a mentor or a mentoring community. Um, I think this is the end. I'm going to take questions now. Um, questions. You can ask me any questions.
Okay, we have a little bit more time for questions. So queue up here, if you have one. Questions about participating in open source community, building your career, or anything about us reaching? Hi, uh, thanks for your talk and your insights. Uh, just curious, how is uh, OutreG financed, actually? Thank you. So OutreG uh, is, a is a program under Software Freedom Conservancy, and we have a lot of um, organizations, individuals sponsoring, coming in as sponsors to um, help us to finance paying this, the interns, the stipends. Thank you. Uh, do you track how many people stay active in open source, or do you, in general, track people's career trajectories? Do we track? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so what we do is we track the number of applications we get in our community, because um, actually has a lot of open source community participating, right? So we only track number of persons that apply to the program, number of persons that get into each stage, and number of persons that we're able to take in as interns. And for interns, um, we are only able to take in interns that we have mentors who are going to, because it's a one-on-one -on -one mentorship program. So we are able to only take in interns based on the number of communities we have and the number of mentors that are available to mentor them. Thank you. Thank you for the talk. Thank you for all the questions. A uh, round of applause, please. Um, so if you have any question you can, or you want to like um, discuss with me about your open source projects or your open science projects or how you can be part of this program, please, I'll be somewhere there. Uh, please connect with me as well. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs>